Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Northbound Motorcycle ADV. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Forrest Johnson, and I ride a Royal Enfield Himalayan. In today's episode, we find ourselves east of Eureka a couple of hours or so at a place called Ruth Lake where I've already settled in for the night and started a meal and thinking about plans for tomorrow that I'm really excited to share with you guys. So sit back and relax, enjoy the ride, and thanks for coming along. I think you're going to like it. Okay, my onions and mushrooms are keeping warm over here. Got my steak on the grill, listening to some Star Wars. Gonna do some mashed potatoes, they're all ready to go. We'll see what it looks like when we're done, hey? Yes, sir. All right, well, dinner is served. Ribeye steak with uh, grilled onions and mushrooms and and melted blue cheese with uh, mashed potatoes. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my dinner. Listen to some more audiobook of Star Wars. I thought Savit already gave you all of Governor Hayden. We'll pick it up later. Thanks for riding along. I find it useful to collect my own. be good to hit the road. I'm excited to show you the, uh, the road I'm going to take home. I'm going to take the long way home. <laughs> hit a little dirt today. Show you some pretty cool views. Show you what it looks like when a forest fire comes through. Yeah, let's have some fun. Pretty good campsite, I think. <laughs> oh, I needed this. I needed to get out. So, 
I'll do a little 360 of the campground. They got pit toilets here. They got running water. They got the lake. It's one way in, one way out, even if you're running water. There's some big, wow, there's some pretty big, uh, dug, wow, there's a bunch of them in here. Some fairly large Douglas fir trees in here. That's cool. A lot of oaks. Little stream going through the one that was dumping out by my campsite. So, I mean, as you can see, it's a nice little, nice little spot. So I wanted to take a minute to kind of explain in more detail what this adventure is all about. So yesterday, when I was riding up Highway 36, I stopped in at the ranger station over at the Mad River Ranger Station, which is part of the uh, Six Rivers National Forest. And inside, there's lots of information I would really encourage everyone as you're traveling to stop in at these ranger stations because they're filled with all kinds of information on local conditions, rules, regulations, places to go that you might not have ever heard of before, uh, places to camp, good place to stop and use the bathroom, get some water, that kind of thing. Um, they're there for you, you know, and they're really nice folks. And as I said, inside there's all kinds of things that you can find on the wall, um, you know, old photographs, information, and uh, one of the things I found was this. The California Backcountry Discovery Trail. So think of this as kind of the uh, precursor to the BDR. This was a program that was initiated by the Forest Service in the spirit of the BDR. Um, this was put together to where they would have backcountry trails and markers along the way with different discovery points that you can stop and look at. And the idea was that uh, one forest would connect to the next and connect to the next and then you would have a series of just endless miles to go. Well, unfortunately, the program was uh, discontinued and, and defunded, but if you know where to look, you can still find evidence and uh, of where the trail is, and that's kind of what we're doing today. So I'm gonna show you parts of it. I'm really excited about it, and uh, thanks for riding along. We're not gonna do the whole trail today, just a little bit of it, but this is something that I'm gonna be planning for later on this summer. So, sit back and enjoy the ride. Okay. We're going to go up, get up on the ridge top, then come down and end up back here on Ruth Road on the way out. And the reason why I'm going up here and doing a little loop for you is that... Oh shit. The reason why I wanted to come up here, do this little loop, is I wanted to show you some of the views of that backcountry discovery route that it takes you on. We're not on it yet, but when we get up onto the ridge top, we will be on it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This part of the road just climbs and climbs and climbs. 
You can see all the live trees that are over here because there was a timber sale here and luckily they were able to kind of thin through it. They thinned the forest right here before that August fire came through. It still came through, but you didn't have 100% mortality like we do on the other side of this ridge. Which is just heartbreaking, to be honest. This part of the forest did okay. We had a pretty big wind event come through about a week ago, I think. A few days ago, a week ago now. And as a result, there's been a lot of a lot of blowdown, a lot of trees that have come down. Definitely don't want to go off that edge. I know you're supposed to stay right and keep right, but man. <laughs> Here's a pretty decent view. Yeah. You know, even though the fire came through here and ripped through and killed a lot of it, this is four years later, the green's coming back, the oaks are coming back, the poison oak has come back. But, uh, you know, fire's meant to be here. We just, in my opinion, we need to thin out the forest a little bit more with some more logging so that when the fires do come through, then, uh, then they're not catastrophic. And if we don't do that, then we cannot let the fires, we can't put them all out. Every time we have a fire, we put one out and that just doesn't work. History has shown that forest service knows this now. Um, and you know, to the fire guys, their credit, man, they do a hell of a job. I don't want any part of firefighting. It scares the hell out of me, but um, yeah. So more logging, <laughs> that's the message. Got some snow off up in the mountains there. That's cool. Well, let's keep going. See what else we can find. Huh? <laughs> we did logging through here, thinned it out, fire came through, trees are okay. Good job. Combined effort with civiculturalists and have this kind of prescription and then the Firefighters put the rest of the wire out and everything, you know. Gotta pay attention, it's kind of slippery through here. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up now <laughs> and uh, just ride and let you enjoy the views.
So there's a Jeep trail that I've been wanting to go on, but I'm not going to do that right now because there's a bunch of downed trees on it and stuff. But uh, we're almost to the ridge top. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Part of the Backcountry Discovery Trail for the Six Rivers National Forest. If we would have made a left at that Y back there, it would continue north and eventually pop out on 299. So we're heading south on it right at the moment. Oh, somebody knocked it down. I'll show you what I found here one day. So you remember the sign that I was showing you? I don't trust this 360 part sometimes. <laughs> so remember the sign that I showed you in the uh, Mad River District office there, the uh, Ranger office, and it showed the, the route and everything. It had those little signs. Look here. Ugh. That's what's left of one. Because as I was saying, the uh, and so we want to go left, so we want to go that way, which is the way we just came. Uh, but we're going to go down there, so we're going to go this way. So this is the way for the trail. That also is the trail coming that way, but unfortunately we have to go this way. Or did we do go this way? Yeah, let's go this way. Let's continue on the trail for a little more. What do you guys think? Let's see, make sure my... Tires are still doing okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, this is part of it. And, uh, you know what? I think we might just call it a day because, unfortunately, I only have one battery for the 360 as of right now. And if I continue filming and go that way, we're going to run out pretty quick. So I'm going to drop down on this and hopefully we can get through on there because there was some road damage earlier, but uh, we'll see if we can just get down there and then get back on the road. So, all right, that's the plan. If I had somebody with me too, it'd be a lot better because this is pretty, pretty remote back in here. So, just so everybody knows, that's why they call it back country. So, <laughs> uh, plus I'm getting hungry. I want to go out and have some a good lunch today. I got an idea where I'm going. So, all right. And there's still a lot of really cool views up here, too. <laughs> In fact, let's set the camera up a little different. in bad shape. 
Hmm. Not sure if you can get a car through there. Told you it'd be a nice, beautiful day. A lot of people see just nothing but a bunch of dead trees, but I see it coming back. At least it's green on the ground now. For the last several years, it's been nothing but black soot. It's nasty. Well, I'm gonna keep filming until the battery dies. We'll keep going from there. snack let the uh, batteries charge up a bit and I think it's uh, time to head on out of here